Hey y'all, what is going on? I told you this year was gonna be cool. I told you this year would be a little bit different. We branched away from Pennsylvania and we made it all the way to Delaware. Not that far, right? Well, today I am in Maine. My aunt and uncle uh, were awesome. They bought a cabin up here in Lincoln, Maine. It's pretty far up into Maine. It's not even just at the start of it. Like we're pretty much into the thick of it here. And I'm gonna put a little video together on the lake they bought and we will uh, see if we can catch some bass. Enjoy. Alrighty, this is gonna be our playground for today and probably into tomorrow. And I'm gonna be using different lures. As I use them, I will put them on the screen so y'all can see what I'm using. Dad, dad, yeah. big one, dad, big one, help, I need that net, can you, can you help, can, it's up here with me, this is our first main fish, oh my god, dad, pl help, please, Can I please get the net? What's that? Behind you. Over there. No. You're not even close. Oh. <laughs> Here. Thank you. Can we hold your rod? No. I got him. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what is it, a bass? Yeah, it's a large mouth. Yeah. It's pretty good size. Whew. Thanks for the help there. Yeah, that much. Uh, Here, let me hold your eye. No, I'm good. Okay. Yep. I panicked. <laughs> I didn't want to lose it. <laughs> yeah, just the, not used to catching this and recording too. Well, our first main fish, I would say, is a pretty sizable one. Yeah. What do you think? Good size. Jeez. The big mouth, honey. <sighs> Yeah. That's why they call it the larger mouth. Yeah. He's gonna be a uh, pound and a half, two pounds. Two pounds, two ounces. Oh, all right, I'm gonna grab a picture with him and then let him go. All right, people, first largemouth of the trip, first fish of the trip, a little chunky two pounder. And we will let our friend go. Whew. Thanks for the help. All right, Maine is turning out to be quite the uh, adventure. A little bit of fun there. Tried a couple different lures, um, crankbaits, spinners. Wasn't having much success, so I switched to, <laughs> shocker, the Nico Helgramite. Usually I use brown, but I happen to have uh, this Ocidian, which is just a black color, rigged up. Very content with that catch and a great way to start our main trip. All right, new goal to catch a big bass and not have to call my father for help <laughs> like a child. <laughs> a little bit, uh, just, that was the first fish, y'all, and he was a really good one. So we'll, we'll uh, try to get on another big one. I actually don't know what kind of fish just came out underneath the rock I'm standing on.
that sunfish? That's a large male. Are you, ser are you serious? Yeah, that's what I was telling you. There. That's more? Yeah. Really? Wow. There's a bunch in there this size though. What a difference. Jesus. Dude, I gotta be a baby one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah. Oh, no wonder you couldn't get it with that big one. Right. Dad, 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 help, please. I need the, I need the net. It's bigger, dad, I need, this is the pickerel. Or it just came out of nowhere. Where's the, where's the net? You put it over there by the bench. I'm, I'm scared this line's gonna snap. He's got big teeth. Oh, that's the pickerel. <laughs> Why don't you just hold your rod? Oh good. We got him. Yeah. Oh, that is a pickerel. That is so cool. Oh. Boy, he's a little active there. Yeah. So you gotta be careful because his teeth are really sharp. They're super slimy. I actually need my, my grippers. Oh my gosh. That's too funny. All right, y'all, I'm hoping I was recording when I caught this guy. But regardless, I want to give y'all a look-see and then let our friend go. The chain pickerel. We don't have too many of these. And that was on my ultralight setup. I was trying to catch these small bass, and he just came up out of nowhere and engulfed that, that lure. All right, really cool fish. Native to this area, too. All right, buddy. Look at those teeth. Bye. <laughs> I was trying to catch bass. Small bass with this. This is a four pound test. And he just came up and woof, out of nowhere and took it. And then I had to yell to, at dad to get the net because I didn't know where it was. <laughs> How scary he's gonna snap this line. Are those the loons out there, Mom? Are those loons? Really? Oh, fish on. Fish on. Net. Not as big as the last one, but he's good. You know what it is? It's only a large mouth. Oh. Well, I'll be able to pull him up here. Hash. Scoop. Thank you. Oh. What do you think? He's probably like a pound. Yeah. Not as big as the other one. Not nearly. Nah. Good size, though. Yep. Got it. All right. Come here, buddy. Let's show the people you. Oh, yeah. He's a nice little fish. A very small bass. <laughs> As is good fish practice, we will wet our hands. And unhook our friend. 
See you later, buddy. Kind of hooks up that guy to the moon. That's a big one. Wish I could net him, but net is not handy and he's big, but he's not gonna win the best Mr. Classics. Ooh. Got him. It's probably our second biggest of the day though. So in case you are wondering why the weather changed, I was sitting here drinking my beer and had a decent bass bite and um, figured, well, heck, why don't I just turn my recorder back on and See if anything will bite. Nice bass. Oh man, I should have been wearing my boots. <laughs> All right. tell you y'all when you're working these net rigs you see that you feel that bite man there's nothing quite in the world that compares to that oh <laughs> speaking of it should be like a medium maybe better than expected Oh yeah, he's better than expected. <laughs> Stop. He keeps jumping. Man, I should have quit. Oh wow. I uh should have grabbed another net. Every time they shake, like every bass fisherman I get nervous. Come on, buddy. There we go. Whoa. And it falls out. There's a tank. <laughs> I just caught a huge one. <laughs> Let's get a weight on our buddy. I'm curious if he's bigger than the last one. One pound, 15 ounces. Sure, you can come up here. Mm -hmm. Just under two pounds. Wanna see it? Alright people, we just got to wait on it. Mother came out to inspect what was happening. It's just under two pounds. There is our friend. Should we let him go? Yeah, she says let him go. I think she's right. <clears throat> so here's the deal people. I recorded an outro and then I started fishing again. <laughs> the fish turned on. I put the GoPro back on. And now we're here. So basically, here's the deal. Uh, I was having a beer and the fish just started hitting again. And then we caught that really nice two pound bass and happy about that. Super happy that our first uh, bass too was uh, over two pounds. So I am loving this main uh, lake. I've only been here for like two hours too, which is crazy. It's all been bank fishing. I'm also getting eaten alive, which is why I keep hitting myself. But just a great day and big shout out to my dad. <laughs> For helping me with those two catches right the pickerel was awesome i don't catch many of those at home because we don't have many at least where i'm from so that was an awesome catch and i'm glad he was here with the net to help me that was a big huge help hopefully you all enjoyed the video see y'all